so the next one we're going to look at is our acid plus carbonate. And we know that the word equation for acid plus carbonate is acid plus carbonate reacts and produces salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. So we know the equation for water, H2O. We know the equation for carbon dioxide, CO2. So that means when we're reacting or balancing our equation for acid plus carbonate, we know that some of these atoms are going to form together to make water, some of these atoms are going to form together to make CO2, and whatever is left over then will become our salt. So let's look at this first one here, hydrochloric acid plus sodium carbonate. So hydrochloric acid is HCl and sodium carbonate is Na and CO3. If we look at our common anion sheet here, carbonate is up here. CO3 2 minus. Now, sodium here has a valency of 1 plus. Carbonate here has a valency of 2 minus. So we can do our swap and drop, which will tell us that we need two sodium atoms to bond with the two arms or the two uh, valency bonds of the carbonate. So HCl plus Na2CO3, which produces, we know it produces water, and we know it produces CO2. So by the time we take out the water, the CO2, that leaves us with sodium and chlorine here. So let's call that NaCl. So NaCl plus H2O plus CO2 is the product of reacting hydrochloric acid with sodium carbonate. Now, we need to work out whether this is actually a balanced equation or not. Now, this one's a little bit more complex. So what we're going to do is we're going to write out each individual atom down here so that we can keep track. Now sometimes you can count that carbonate as a whole uh, atom or molecule, except on this side we don't have a carbonate. It gets broken down or reduced down into carbon dioxide. So to make sure we're all balanced then, let's separate and look at each of these carbon and oxygen atoms together. So that on this side, H equals, Cl equals, Na equals, C equals, O equals. All right, now, when it comes to balancing this one, we can start with anything in here um, that we need to start with, but let's just, for ease, let's just start with hydrogen just because that's the first one. Now we have one hydrogen on this side, and the reactants, and on this side we've got two hydrogens. So we need to do something over here to make that balance with that two there. So if I put a 2 in front of the HCl, that's now saying two molecules of hydrochloric acid reacting with sodium uh, carbonate gives us the hydrogen we need for that water. So now there's two and there's two, so at least the hydrogens are balanced. <clears throat> Let's look at the chlorides now, chlorines rather. So we have one chlorine here and we have one chlorine there. So for the moment, those two are balanced. Let's look at our sodiums. We've got two sodiums here and only one sodium there. Okay, so we're not balanced here. So we need two sodiums and we've only got one. Let's put a two in front of there. So we've now got two sodiums and two sodiums, which is now balanced on both sides with the sodiums. Now, by putting that two in front of the sodium, we're also saying that we want to have two chlorines. 
to form that sodium chloride. Now, if we look over here, we've said two chlorines because we need two hydrochloric acid molecules. So two hydrogens, two chlorines, two hydrogens, two chlorines. So now that is balanced as well. Let's look at the carbons here. On this side, we have one carbon. And on this side, we have one carbon. So that's balanced. Now on this side, we have three oxygens. And on this side, we have one and then one, two. So three oxygens, three oxygens, they're now balanced. So with just that little bit of refining, we've now got a balanced equation that says two hydrochloric acid molecules reacting with sodium carbonate gives us two sodium chloride molecules plus a water molecule plus a carbon dioxide molecule. So that was the first one here, hydrochloric acid and sodium carbonate. Now let's look at hydrochloric acid and magnesium carbonate as our next one. So hydrochloric acid, HCl, plus magnesium carbonate, goes to, now we know it goes to water, and we know it goes to carbon dioxide. And let's just check, before we do our salt, let's just check this magnesium carbonate is balanced there. So magnesium, valency of two plus, carbonate, valency of two minus, they are now balanced. Now, if we've taken our hydrogen, our oxygen, our carbon out to give us water and carbon dioxide, that leaves behind magnesium and chlorine for our magnesium chloride. So now we need to work on balancing that. Let's do this same way we've been doing. Hydrogen atoms equal, chlorine atoms equal, magnesium. We're gonna break apart that carbon and that oxygen. Same on this side. Right, and let's just balance this. Let's start with the hydrogen again, just because it's the first one. One hydrogen here, two on this side. Let's put a two in front of there. We've now got two hydrogens, two hydrogens. Good. We've got two chlorines, but over here we only have one chlorine. Now we also need to check, which I should have done before, sorry for confusing a little bit here. Magnesium chloride. Magnesium has a valency of two plus. Chlorine has a valency of one minus. So we can do our swap and drop, which will give us magnesium two plus, comes down here. Magnesium chloride has that two there. Now, if we get back to balancing the whole equation, we've got two chlorides, two chlorines, rather two chlorines, nice and balanced. One magnesium, one magnesium. One carbon, one carbon. Three oxygens. One, two, three oxygens. Good. So that now is our balanced equation for reacting hydrochloric acid with magnesium carbonate. So I'll leave you to have a go at the other ones here. Now, just remember sulfuric acid, the formula for that is H2SO4, and nitric acid is H2NO3, which you should have in your notes from one of our uh, previous lessons. Good luck.